Welcome to the Pilates Show Mondays outside the Pilates studio, where we get out into the real world to explore the mind-body lifestyle. Hi, I'm your host, Jennifer Gianni, and today we're talking about kitchen table release part two. In a previous episode, we looked at releasing the inner thighs. Today, we're going to go up into the pelvic floor, uh, specifically into the obturator internus, and try to find some release and length and activation in that area. So imagine you're at your table again. This time, no rolling chair. It's better just to have a regular sturdy uh, wooden chair. And using the table for a little bit of balance. Um, first, if you're not familiar with your obturator internus, what you can do is do a little bit of self-palpation. So you want to find your sits bone, and you want to cup the inside of your sits bone with your fingers. Right? So I'm going to the, the side here of my um, right pelvic floor. I'm cupping my sits bone, and I'm doing a little bit of release work here with my fingers, just allowing my tissue and my bones to yield to my fingers. And palpating here so I know exactly um, what I'm dealing with when I go to the edge of the chair to do this release. So now you're going to take that same area that you just cupped with your fingers to the edge of your chair. And you know, I have sort of a soft chair here. It would be actually better if it were a little bit more um, stiff. So I'm hanging off. My left glute cheek and my left pelvis is hanging off the uh, chair here. And I'm, I want to allow my left hip to really drop down towards the floor. So I get a release of my left psoas and my left lower back, and then the chair is helping me to release my obturator internus and the whole um, right side of my pelvic floor. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.